Welcome to Gemini Ascendant. Ascendant is ruled by Mercury. The Gemini Ascendant lives to communicate. They're clever, witty, flirtatious. They have a desire for friendships. A Gemini Ascendant can't sit still. They do not enjoy alone time and cannot stand isolation. The Gemini native truly values their mother. They feel that their mother is the fount to their stability and wealth. They feel that their mother gave them all they ever wanted. The native expresses themselves artistically and dynamically. They communicate easily with their children and treat them as if they're siblings. This is because Leo, the original fifth house of children, is now in the third house of communication. If you look at the fifth house, you will see that there is Libra, which is the original seventh house of marriage, which is moved into the fifth house of romance as well. The native needs romance in their marriage for it to thrive. The marriage needs activity and fun. These are the things that the fifth house represents. They will get a spouse that is a philosopher, a preacher. Gemini is gossip. It is ruled by Mercury, who is the enemy of Jupiter, who is religious text. This definitely brings trouble into the marriage. You see, Sagittarius, just like the other sign that Jupiter rules, Pisces, which is two fish going in opposite directions, Sagittarius is very dualistic in nature as well. The symbol of Sagittarius is half man, half animal, which shows dual natures, which shows me a separation in marriage. Because in the Gemini Ascendant's seventh house of marriage, you have the sign of Sagittarius. They understand their mothers very well due to both their Ascendant and fourth house being ruled by Mercury. In the Gemini Ascendance chart, in the fourth house, you have Virgo, which is also ruled by Mercury. Virgo is the original sixth house of enemy, of death, of disease. The Gemini Ascendant will have some sort of enmity with their mother. So let's look at the sixth house of enemies and what sign is occupying it. We have Scorpio, hidden things, the sex organs, scandals in the house of enemies. The Gemini Ascendant's enemies will deal with psychological warfare. The Gemini Ascendant will deal with sexual scandals. They'll have scandals with hidden money, taxes, insurance. They may be prone to cheating, as well as sexually transmitted diseases. This is because the sixth house is the house of mistresses. It's also the house of disease. And Scorpio is the original eighth house, which represents the sex organs scandals, hidden things. Mars rules both Scorpio and Aries. In the Gemini Ascendant's chart, Aries is in the 11th house of game and the elder sibling and large organizations. The elder sibling dealing with a large organization will lead the Gemini Ascendant into some sort of scandal. Mars is ruling both the 11th house of desire and the 6th house of disease and enemies. These results will begin to ease up for the Gemini Ascendant once they reach around the age of 28 when Mars matures. The Gemini Ascendant finds their individuality in following the footsteps of their elder sibling or being recognized in a large organization. The Gemini Ascendant is able to withstand any sorts of ups and downs, any sorts of sudden ups and downs in their life. They remain calm in times of uncertainty. This is because the eighth house of sudden changes in a Gemini Ascendance chart is ruled by Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. The teachings of the Gemini Ascendant of their father and gurus is doing for others. This is due to Saturn the servant also ruling their ninth house of higher education, of religious duty, and ritual deeds. In the ninth house, you have Aquarius, which is both ruled by Saturn and the eccentric Rahu. The ninth house represents father. So the Gemini Ascendant will have an eccentric father and an eccentric guru. The Gemini Lagna will always try to escape their career. They may have a career in 
involving sailing, import, export, foreign travel. Jupiter is ruling the 10th house of career, which is in the sign of Pisces. In the Gemini Ascendance chart, Jupiter is also ruling the 7th house of marriage, with Sagittarius being there. Jupiter and Mercury, well, Jupiter hates Mercury and Mercury hates Jupiter. Jupiter's always going to try to escape Mercury. But Mercury rules the entire chart. Jupiter will not cooperate with Mercury. This is why you see the Gemini Ascendant in the two houses that is ruled by Mercury. They're always trying to escape those two houses, which is career and marriage. Art, creativity, and writing is where the Gemini thrives because it allows them escape from their career. The Gemini's career is actually helping others escape. The Gemini Ascendant only likes isolation when it's time to do their work, especially if the work is blue collar or corporate, where they have to isolate themselves in an office or if they have an office space. The Gemini Ascendant hates taking orders and hates giving orders. Mercury is rebellious to Jupiter, who is ruling the 10th house of authority. The Gemini ascendant finds value in isolation. They find their resources. Their resources of inspiration come from their isolation. They isolate to elevate. Their wealth of ideas also come to them when they travel to foreign places. They express themselves artistically in the bedroom. This is because the 12th house of bed pleasures is in the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus, a good friend of Mercury. Well, everybody, that was my interpretation of the Gemini Ascendant. If you're interested in a reading or just want to learn more information about Jyotish Astrology, go to www.adivineastrology.com.